Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Robinson here again. Today, we're going to continue our studies. We are talking about experimental probability. So we're going to do a little experimenting. So first of all, experimental probability is the ratio or fraction decimal percentage of the total number of times a favorable outcome happens to the total of the trials or the times the experiment is performed. As the number of trials increases, the experimental probability gets closer to the theoretical probability. So in theory, the more that you do it, the closer you get to the actual uh, theoretical probability. So let's take a look at an example we have here. So Dan, and that's me down there, rolled the number cube 20 times. All right, so 20 times. Let me underline that. The cube landed on the number three six times. So that's important. So he got his three six times. What is the experimental probability that Dan will roll a number three the next time he rolls his cube? All right. So we have some numbers here we're going to deal with. The number six is what he's interested in. So I'm sorry, the number three. So the probability of getting a three he did that six times already when he rolled out of the 20. So I'm going to say six times out of the 20. And out of, we know, means the fraction bar. So that's uh, the experiment that happened, six out of 20. So that's really his probability of getting a three if he rolls it again on his next time. So I can reduce that by dividing this by, let's see, two. So if I divide this by two, I'll get three out of 10. So the probability is 3 out of 10. Chances of getting 30%. You can also write that. So that's his experiment. And hopefully Dan will get a 3 next time. So that's experimental probability. By the way, I do have it in Espanol for my ELL students. So you can take a look at it right there. And Hope you understand what's going on. If you're not sure, rewatch the video and write it down, uh, what you don't understand, and send me a comment, and I'll do my best to write you back. So here's a state test question about theoretical, I'm sorry, about experimental probability. So I have it also in Spanish. So let me just go to the Spanish for a second. So uh, I'm not going to read the Spanish because my Spanish is not that good. But Kerry has a bag containing white, yeah, and yellow marbles. So we got white and yellow marbles. Okay, that's good to know. So I'll underline that. Carrie randomly selects one marble. So she's going to select one marble. And that's it. Random means no peeking. From the bag. She's going to record the result and then return the marble back to the bag. So she's returning it to the bag. The results of the first 65 selections are shown below. So out of the 65 times she picked the marble and put it back, this is what happened. The white marble was selected 41 times, all right? The yellow marble was selected 24 times. And if we add up 41 plus 24, that should be a total of 65, and yes. So, that, so we are sure that she actually uh, selected a marble and put it back 65 times. So based on these results, what is the probability, and they didn't say experimental, you know, uh, it's indicated there because that's what she actually did. So what is the probability of that the next marble carry selects rounded to the nearest percent will be white? So she wants a white marble. So let me write probability of white equals, well, how many white marbles did she get? It says she got 41 on the first uh, 65 rolls, and then she got another 24, which gave us a total of 41 plus 64, which is our denominator of 65 rolls. Now, Dr. Rob, you got a fraction there. Look at your answers. They're, uh, they are um, percentages. So you remember, hopefully you saw some time ago how Dr. Rob changes uh, fractions to decimals, he multiplies by the magic number of 100. So if I had my calculator out, I would get that and 
it gives me like 63.0 something. And I'm going to round that off to 63% because I wanted it to the nearest hole. So I get 63%, which is my choice letter D. So I would choose D and let's check it. And that is the choice. So that was a good state test question dealing with uh, uh, experimental probability. So um, I hope you like it and hope you understood it. If you didn't rewatch the video, write down your questions, send me an uh, email or something, and I'll be glad to answer your question. If you need help, there's also the uh, Dallas Teacher Homework Helpline at 212-777-3380, Monday to Thursdays, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Give them a call. They're very nice people, and they will help you out. Don't forget to watch our tutorial videos on YouTube. My channel name is Dan Robinson, PKMS, Peekskill Middle School. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Hey, check out our latest release, PKMS Math Prep 22. Good movie. I think you'll like it. So tweet me at DRobMath1. Don't forget to watch our show Math Time on Tuesdays, 4.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Optimum Cablevision Channel 15 only in peak skill study with dr rob if you want more information on this topic that we just did write me an email at robinsonmath at aol.com and i'll be glad to write you back here's a little clip of math prep 22 we're enjoying the game show so check it out good movie so we hope you enjoyed experimental probability probability experimental so this is Dr. Rob signing off. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.